Welcome back. It is a beautiful day here in Elkhart, Indiana. Jared with Team Montana. Today we're going to check out this Springdale 1740RK. It is a rear kitchen design. One slide out with the booth dinette on the inside. You've got the power awning, nice big windows. Um, you've got your furnace here, six gallon hot water heater. Big outside prep for an outside refrigerator choose to do so um, the outlet down here is actually inverted uh, inverter prep I should say so if you want to put an inverter system on here you can do so and believe it or not I actually ran this slide out on this camper without a battery to it um, just based off of this beautiful sunshine right now because there is a 200 watt solar panel it is on top I uh, can't quite reach one right now but I'll show you on this other one you can see on the roof of that trailer, that Springdale there, you got this silver piece here. So that is your 200 watt solar panel on all Keystone products. So that's huge, all right? It really gives you the freedom to do what you want. This refrigerator is a full uh, seven cubic foot gas and electric, electric reel, which is nice. Very uh, efficient and contained. So it's easy to hook up easy to put back in you got the spare tire here on the back so if you do have a blowout uh, that's very easy to access along the side you've got your one and only axle dump not axle dump behind the axle is your dump for your septic system low point water drain so winterizing is a breeze has stabilizers on the back to keep it supported when you are set up at the campsite Here's your slide out, so it's a very deep slide, so it's gonna really give you a lot of space inside of the camper. It is a Schwintec driven design. Um, so there's a gear that will run along this track, and there's one on each corner. So this system will not fail. It's a very good system. They've been using for a long time. Water connection. You've got your fresh water hookup. So if you're on a full site hookup, you just connect the hose into there, turn the hose on. If you're going off grid, do some off-roading. Uh, BME camping or BLM camping uh, you'd put your hose in here fill the fresh water tank when it's completely full it will come out of this little vent that you see right there letting you know that it is full all right you do have full pass-through storage on this side however this door is locked I'll show you on the other side and your specs so this thing comes in weighing 4,020 pounds it can withhold another 1,200 pounds um, the tires are pretty decent, really. Uh, 15 inch rim, E rated, 80 PSI. All right, it's very rare we have issues with this camper. This is our number one selling brand on the lot, other than a Montana. But um, it's a good unit, good price point. These are going to be around 21, 22,000. So here's your pass through storage. Let me adjust the lighting here. So, ton of storage space in this Springdale Mini. Uh, to where you can put uh, some lawn chairs, you can put a little grill in here. Um, up in the corner, this blue device, this is your controller for your solar panel. Again, that's a standard from Keystone. It is a 200 watt panel with a 15 amp controller, which is what that 15 is uh, resembling. Uh, basically, you can connect your phone to it uh, via the Victron app and see exactly the amount of power that's coming to the trailer from the sun. We've got the Moride solid steps that go in the trailer. All right, so you can step on this bad boy and it's not moving anywhere. Obviously, my ground is unlevel. It's going to move here. However, when you're on a level campsite um, or even unlevel, you can adjust them by pulling this pin out and adjusting them. Um, it's a very solid step. Top step's a little bit wider, so it gives you a nice stance for travel. They just tuck up into the door frame like so. It's got a safety catch. Then you close the door and boom, you're ready to go traveling. To open it back up, just pull that safety lever. Boom, there you go. Now wait till you see inside this beauty. All right, so the slide is out. It's a rear kitchen design with a rear bath in the back corner. This is a Murphy bed. It's a 60 by 80 queen. And it is in the open position right now. It'll tuck up very nicely all the way up into the top here. Where you've got a pin to hold the bed in. Um, in the corners you've got plenty of storage space with power on both sides. So you've got two 110 outlets which are also inverted if you put an inverter on here. USB ports and the exact same thing on this side and it looks like that one is your GFI. 
They've got real nice storage, very beautiful finish with the black. There's your bedspread. Um, so really a lot of storage space. You got this on both sides and you've also got this beautifully finished wood trim piece up above. All right, side windows, one on each side. And real quick, I'm gonna put the bed back up and show you what it looks like. All right, here is the mattress folded up. And here is your final product. So you've got the black board up there. It's super easy, that tab. All you have to do is just push and tilt that whole thing up, locked right in automatically. Flip this bed, um, the backrest to that uh, sofa back up and boom. You've got uh, plenty of living space in here between that sofa and this dinette, which also turns into a bed. So right now it's in the bed position. You've got two little pull-out drawers. Um, so they're utilizing all of your space inside of this camper. For HVAC, you have your eight, uh, air conditioning up on the top here. So this is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Uh, this size of a unit, it's going to get cold. You can hang some meat in this thing. It'll be cold enough. Along the kitchen side, this is a huge counter space. Remember, this trailer is only 23 feet overall length, I believe. Sorry, I just checked. It is 21 feet overall. That's tongue to bumper. So living space is probably in that 18 foot. But you've got a massive amount of space for storage all throughout here. So I'm not going to bore you with all of those features. Uh, you've got the Keystone bag. Da, 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 da. Down below, this is your furnace. Again, this size of a trailer, that is sufficient. You've got a Bluetooth Boss audio system. So you can hook your phone up to it. It actually unclips, you can take it out outside. Um, you could even throw it on a kayak or on a boat and take it with you that way. Well, here's your slide out controls. Um, your powered awning, just push this button and hold, it goes out eight feet. And then you've got your light selection. So uh, inside lights and your awning lights. Super slick red microwave, all right? Enough to cook some popcorn, maybe warm up some biscuits, cookies. You've got your grill, uh, not grill, stove in here, okay. And then your massive refrigerator for a Springdale Mini. Again, this is a seven cubic foot, all black. I like the black theme with the natural raw wood look to it. Uh, over here, this is for your water pump and your water heater. So when you are not hooked up uh, to full city connection and a, a full hookup, these are all your controls. This is your thermostat for your furnace check out the bathroom so you've got a uh, shower here with a tiny little lip on there it's not really a tub um, plenty of space here let's see how good this fits for a six foot one tall guy yeah I got a crotch of hair so if you're over six foot sorry but otherwise it does the job right you're camping or we're roughing it folks we're getting away from the everyday life all right lots of storage in the bathroom really some good space in there for everything else that we have going in this trailer there you have it jared with team montana rv i work for tr rv sales i am 20 miles from the manufacturer of these trailers i work for a small business so we don't hit you with any of the corporate fees no transportation fees just buy the trailer plus a hundred dollar document fee and that's it i get people to drive from all over the country had some people from nevada pick up from me today and uh, last week I had some folks from Alaska so uh, we save them enough money that they can come travel here and pick up a trailer so please shoot me a text send me a message happy to help you get you a good deal we got plenty of campers all around here